FM is the sound of never see. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome again to the Kiss FM interviews. It's 2 a.m. in the morning. We are still inside the festival and feels like it's just started. It's so packed, you know, it's so crowded outside. In the fourth day of Never See Festival, of course, with Tujamo, welcome. Thank welcome you. Welcome back. Thank because, you, thank you. Um, a lot of people already know that we have a podcast that we recorded a few weeks ago before Never See Festival, and we talked. Uh, you, you did some video as well because we connected by Zoom. Everybody connects by Zoom today. And uh, unfortunately, I was in the, in the radio studio and I, I couldn't show myself uh, uh, as well. But I remember you sitting in front of the computer and it's like, yes, you know, <laughs> speaking about music and production. So I'll try to avoid the, the usual questions about music and, and performance and, and concentrate first on your feeling about the festival. Because it's not very common to see a headliner enjoying the festival. And I notice him. He spent the entire evening at VIP and he enjoyed the festival like, like we do, you know, in the middle of the festival. And like I said, it's, it's not very usual to, to, to have a headliner enjoying a festival like, like a no, regular festival. Exactly, yeah, but it's pretty easy because the last few years, uh, I mean, before COVID, obviously, but it was always so good that I said to myself, the next time I don't want to fly in and out, I want to stay at least a day longer or I come a day earlier. And since now I'm closing, I have to come a day earlier. So I did it yesterday and it was crazy. Tell me about your feeling. How, how do you feel the Romanian people? How do you feel... Um, uh, noticing you know how they are reacting to music how they are reacting to a performance how they are reacting to the festival and everything that you can find here compared with other people from other countries i mean it, it is a difference between us in the east and pe how people are partying in the yeah. west it's a huge difference and yesterday uh, coming back to that it w i was lucky because that i saw it from a totally different perspective i usually see the crowd from the front and they are always like this but seeing it from the side and seeing exactly how much they are into music was insane they the people just love fucking music here they just love vibing they love dancing they love screaming they are so into it and i think that makes it different of course we come after uh, two years of break fourth they break. are fresh they no. are ready and and people have you know kept this inside and i my opinion personal opinion and I noticed working in the music business as well that lately we either have slow tracks like like pop mm -hmm. slow productions sad if i may say so yeah or in the other extreme very aggressive i mean you notice already that this yeah. rave yeah, 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 yeah. is happening and yeah. it, it's, it's it's crazy it's very aggressive and you as a producer um focusing on the good old house music and electro house yes how do you feel about this shift to to more more energetic and more aggressive how this affects you as a producer because mm -hmm. I'm, i'm pretty sure you try to to keep your way in, mm -hmm. in, in this direction i think COVID has a big uh impact on the whole thing because people were really lost people like me as a producer i was like okay what am am i gonna do now because there are no festivals there are no clubs there's almost like no dance music spotify was just full of like slow as you said like slow sad house music and i was also lost or yeah exactly <laughs> and i was also lost a little bit so but that gave me also the freedom to try a little bit of this and a little bit of that a little bit of harder stuff a little bit of everything and i ended up with so much music but everything is different and now i i have to yeah i have to select what i'm gonna do and i'm still a little bit lost but uh, it's nice that we are back at festivals and you can try some stuff here that's what i'm gonna do tonight as well and you'll, uh, you'll close uh, the, the the main show tonight and uh, i think you'll be on stage when we'll have the sunrise yeah at i think so yeah 4 45 5 i'm gonna start it for you yeah. yeah so uh, have you ever tried you know this thing before you Have you had any previous performance? I did. On the beach, watching the sunrise? Yeah, yeah. I played uh, uh, s a very small show okay. in an exact setup, but in, with, of course, a different crowd. I was not in Romania. But with this crowd, I just like a few years ago, I, I did never see 
with like a little part of sunrise but then I, somebody else played after me so i just got a little like a little teaser for tonight and tonight it's gonna be like full on sunrise everything so we we talked uh, about festivals and getting back to work mm -hmm. and into the almost normal life last year uh, before i'm told your performance is uh, i'm told uh, what changed for you in this past almost uh, a year, year you know yeah it's almost a year next month in all, in all uh, directions all yeah. terms i mean personal uh, professional uh, what changed for you i think the biggest change is that i kept what I said that I said I'm gonna I'm not gonna overdo like I'm not gonna have the same schedule as before I think that's what I said because before COVID it was so busy I had like a show after show after show and what I'm gonna do now is like I do a few shows then a little break a few shows a little break I'm just taking more care of myself that change that I that I do uh, that I take care of myself a little bit more but on the other hand music wise uh, since we are playing festivals again yeah. and stuff like this for example i realize i'm a fucking dj i'm not like a radio producer i'm not whatever this is what i want to do this yeah. is exactly what i want to do and it showed me again like hey focus on playable music focus on Connecting with crazy people. records yeah. Yeah. focus on unexpected drops that's that that showed me exactly like this is what i'm what i want to do so shout out to the Kiss FM listeners and yeah. people uh, that are here at Never See Festival waiting for you to perform. Yeah, Kiss FM guys, thank you so much for all the support. Thank you for always coming to the shows and I really can't wait to rock tonight. See you later. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good as always. Thank you, man.